and I was thinking through it. When was the last time David appeared in the Bible? The first time he showed up in the Bible. You take your time to find out. The first time we heard about David. He was not present in his father's house. He was at the backside taking care of sheep. Who further told us that while he was there, he was worshipping. You and I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. I will not be silent. Let's do it together. And I will not be silent. Say I. It's going to be my habit. As long as I am, as long as I am breathing, your joy will always worship you. I will not be silent. Let's do it again. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Now, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. It's my word. Lift your hands. All of my words. If you brought your worship, give it to him. Receive my worship. Hey. All of my worship. Say, this is my worship. All of my worship. Receive the Lord. Receive my worship. All of it. Say. Lift your hands and I will not be silent. Rest us, we will always worship. Tell him the reason as long as long as I am free. Worship is not only solemn, it's a matter of bringing him all your heart and not come on, somebody do it, do it. Clap it. Dancing can be worship. Shouting and screaming can be worshiping him, giving him. Bless the name of the Lord. He deserves all our praise. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor it's a good atmosphere to receive your blessing tonight. Amen. It's a good atmosphere to access that which the Lord has in store for us. 
let's read just three of my verses and you'll sit down and I'll continue. First Samuel chapter 19, I'm reading from the verse number one. First Samuel the chapter number 19, I read from the verse number one, two, three, and then I'll make you sit and I'll continue. And Saul spake to Jonathan his son and all his servants that they should kill David. Somebody say kill David. It was an instruction. It, it, it wasn't ambiguous at all. It was a direct statement. This is not something you need to decipher. Kill David. A name was mentioned. Kill Isaac. A name was mentioned. Kill Gabriel. Your name came up. Kill David. Verse number two. See, but Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seek to kill thee. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take heed of thyself until the morning and abide in a secret place and hide thyself. Talks about three people and say, the Lord will secure you. Am I in church already? When there is no protection, your provision is useless. And a lot of people have labored. Just, just today, I went to the village and on my way back, I was speaking to, I mean, there was one of my um, schoolmates went with me when we were coming. He was talking about a man that he used to work for. He says about 20 years ago, the guy was very rich. In fact, he's still rich. He has a lot of money. And he says there was this lady that was connected to him and whenever he comes around the, I mean the lady would come around and help with a couple of things and all of a sudden he doesn't know what happened the man divorced the wife settled with this lady and they are married till today and he says not too long ago he went to the house somebody was very, I mean who is very rich and well to do, he says the man was looking at his face he said, oh, he mentioned his name. I am so, so, and so. The man was just looking at him. And when he did some inquiries, he told him the man has lost his memory. He has become Taba Taba. <laughs> you know Taba Taba. <laughs> Rich man who has now become Timlele. Just sitting down looking at everybody like that. And he's talking about somebody who is very rich. The guy has everything that you can think about. He has houses. But he's just looking at him. So I asked myself, what is the worth of all the things we are looking for and seeking if there is no protection? Can you touch your neighbor and say, receive protection tonight? Those of you on sound, you should have ears. So receive protection tonight. Touch somebody say, receive protection tonight. I prophesy over somebody. That is what we are dealing with tonight. I prophesy over your life that number one, you shall be blessed, but you will not lose your blessing. You shall be blessed, but you shall also be secured. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, the Bible says he will end up abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. He says you will get to a place where a thousand shall fall on your side. Ten thousand on the other side. It shall not come near you. Why? Because the security of God shall be over your life. Whosoever is brought in evil against you I prophesy may they be exposed whosoever is seeking to kill you I declare that they shall die before you die they will fail ahead of time lift your voice and shout I receive protection sit down for a moment sit down for a moment let me finish this but Jonathan saw son delighted much in David after the instruction has been passed on that kill David kill him kill the guy. Finish him. Bring his life to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not understand the scripture until you know power play. You understand the concept of power play. And we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about political power at work here.
somebody who had power to command. The centurion told Jesus the other day, he says, I am a man in charge. When I tell my servants, go, they go. When I tell them, come, they come. They are under complete control. What I tell them is what they do. So people that are in power possess some level of authority to determine the outcome of people's lives. And we are talking about the king. A political authority for that matter. Looked into the face of everybody. And he says, I am telling you my son Jonathan. This guy called David when you see him kill him. And he spoke to everybody that was present. Ladies and gentlemen, the king's word is power. Am I preaching to somebody? The word of the king is power. And usually when a command is issued by the king, it is not processed at all. Nobody will question the king. And all they needed to do was to move out there and execute the command of the king but i came to announce to somebody when you come under the control of the greater king i'm not talking about the king but the king of kings the one that has power over the king the one that can siphon life out of that king that has passed on that command when the king of king takes over when the king of king is in charge of your life you shall not only receive provision but you shall also receive protection i prophesy over your life you shall not die you will not die before your time your children will not die anybody under the sound of my voice tonight that the enemy has executed any command that you must die before the close of the year I stand as a mad piece of God and I declare objection to it I declare that it is cancelled you will live past this year you will cross other years ahead you will fulfill your days lift your voice and shout I believe and I receive it clap for my Jesus if it is allowed when the Lord is working out a plan to salvage you out of the trouble of those who are in authority. Ladies and gentlemen, his work kings are very interesting. It is mind blowing. In fact, I was looking for the psalm that goes with the book of Samuel, the chapter number 19. Some of you don't know, but every story of David determines the kind of psalm that he writes. And when you go to the book of Psalm 59, the write up there is interesting. Go there for me quickly and then we'll come back. Psalm 59 after the Lord had brought deliverance to this gentleman called David. He wrote out a psalm that is mind-blowing and interesting. He spoke about how the Lord can deliver. He says, deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Can I prophesy say over somebody? May the Lord be your defense. In that car, the Lord shall defend you. In that office, the Lord shall defend you. In your traveling, the Lord shall defend you. He said, deliver me and then defend me from them that rise up against me we live in a place where people hate you for no reason they hate you for your hard work they hate you for the moves you are making they hate you for the fact that you are trying to get something working for yourself and they can connect with your enemies we live in a world where people are your enemies because they are friends with your enemies and they do all kinds of things sometimes your image mess you up but the loss will be your defense may God defend you tonight Shout a bigger amen. Somebody said, the Lord is my defense. Let's play around this verse number two. Go to verse number two. I love a particular point. He said, deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. Somebody say bloody men. There are people that are excited at your death, but I declare in the name of Jesus, bloody men shall fail. Should I add women? Bloody women shall also fail because it is not only men. Ladies and gentlemen, I prophesy that you shall be delivered. Workers of iniquity. One year people that are interested in mischief and negativity they just want to do evil you shall be delivered from their hands I said you shall be delivered from their hands I am prophesying with my eyes open may the Lord deliver you may you not just be delivered but let the hand of the Lord strike them I prophesy over your life by 12 day a.m. tomorrow let there be a strike from heaven against the enemies of your life lift your hands and Son, I am defended by the Lord. Clap your hands again for Jesus. Verse number three. This is Psalm related to the one we just read. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. 
the mighty are guarded against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin. Oh Lord, they lie wait. One more thing. Are you here with me? There are people that are just waiting. They are, they are, and that is all they are saying. Oh, come on. And they are waiting. Can I prophesy over your life? They shall wait for a hundred years. Those who shouted the Lord, they say, man, let it be executed. Let it be signed by the blood in your life. I said, they shall wait forever. They shall wait forever. They wait for my soul. They are waiting for something to happen to you. I prophesy. Whether they are coming from your family, whether they are coming from your friends, whether they are even very close to you, and they are waiting for your failure. I declare that they shall wait until they are great. They shall wait until they get a heart attack and fall and die. Somebody shout a big amen. Shout the second one. Shout the final one with a clap unto God. We are waiting. Whilst we are waiting for blessings, they are waiting for our failure. Verse number four. Keep going. I'm looking for a particular one. If I find it, they ran and prepared themselves without my fault. <laughs> Awake. To help me and behold, let me pick it again. They ran and prepared themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. Continue. Thou, therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the hidden. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressor. Are you here with me? Some, some of us, it is it is in our mercy that we, we have ended up permitting certain people to live beyond their time. Tonight, I stand in agreement with everybody who wants this done. That may the Lord not be merciful to the enemies of your life. May they not find mercy in the sight of God. Can you imagine? Saul just rose up and he said, everybody who finds David, kill him. What has David done? somebody what have I done <laughs> nothing just kill him kill him for nothing kill him for no reason some some people cannot stand the car you bought are you here with me they can't understand meanwhile and you see council I'm the toy are you here with me Nanka, ubeye, upe, upe, u, 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 debi, nanka, what on your same idea? Then you sat me up. But they, 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 they don't even want to buy some, they don't also want you to drive. I prophesy over your life. He said, I wait and visit them. Be not merciful to the wicked. Tonight I send the arrow of God to everywhere they gather. Whether they are witches or they are enemies of your soul, may the arrow penetrate where they are. We send diseases, we send trouble, we send arrows that will mess them up wherever they are located. Somebody he said yes 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 be not merciful to any wicked transgressor seller coenim 6 they return at evening they make a noise like a dog and go around about the city making noise back in your name Am I here with somebody? Targeting somebody and messing them up and doing everything to frustrate them and trying to rally support. One of the worst things, worst enemies that I can't stand is people that walk out of your life and yet they don't stay out of your life. Can I say that one again? They walk out of your life and yet they don't stay out of your life. They are checking your status. They are checking your Facebook posts. They are talking to your friends. They are finding an idea. Are you here with me? The worst one are relationship with Jai Gelly. Ubi Kanadi, I mean, come on. Where Jai Boy. So, so still, la Diana, and any do it. So, what about him? And they have people at your workplace. They are finding out the worst one is those in church. And, and all that, sorry. Hey, brother. 
and you came to church. Reporter in church. So we're not by. And then I'm not talking about anything. It's with you. When I say certain things, I don't look my wife's direction before she will even tell me to stop. Some people deserve such messages. Finding out what is happening. They, behold, they belt out with their mouth swords. He says, with their mouth swords are in their lips. Hey. David was writing this based on what Saul was doing to him. Swords in their lips. Anui. Somebody can, can say, you know, this lips. Or let me move further, this tongue in our lips. The Bible says it is very small, but very dangerous. No, no wonder they used the tongue to describe fire, tongues of fire. <laughs> it can burn, it can destroy. But lift up your right hand and say, not me. <laughs> Scream and say, minus me. He <laughs> says there are swords in their lips for who for who say they did that here? So they have they have people that they pass on the source from their lips, even to them, just for the distraction of somebody. David said, writing according to what happened to him in the book of First Samuel chapter nineteen. Move, behold, all right. But thou, O Lord, that was what I was looking for. So I'll get back to my scripture. But thou, O Lord, can somebody laugh like God? <laughs> And I prophesy, I declare that within the next three days, may the Lord put your enemy to shame. Let there be something that people will even laugh. God will laugh at them until people begin to laugh at them. God shall put them to shame. Let something just pop up. Let something happen that will create a mess around them. They become a laughing stock in town. Let your voice and shout, I believe and I receive it. But thou, o Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the hidden in derision. move on. Because of his strength, I will wait upon thee. For God. That's a God I serve. I am a champ. Mikatapo, lift your right hand, say, No, I am a who, yeah, who, Wafferati, Sammy Frat. I am a who, yeah, who, Wafferati, Sammy Frat. May the Lord hear your prayer tonight. Carry an answer out of that place. Why am I who am I? Those who are standing, receive a blessing, receive a miracle. Those who are praying and expecting, let the heavens open for you. Everything tells you an enemy. Why am I who am I? Ebo kali ama hata. Se sami fra. Sing it again, I am in Mikatapo, you will not die this year. I am in They can bring us sicknesses, you will survive. Lift your hands here. I am a who? I am who? Waferati. Semi frat. No I am a who, yeah, who? What for I did? Tell me, friend. Tell me, friend, oh, man. I am a who, yeah, who? God is speaking to somebody with this song right now. Tell me, friend. 
What's your friend that said, but he's bringing an answer right now. Sing it for last time. No, I am a who. Yemu. Ebo de kadi abatana hasa. Erati semi friend. He will bring me an answer speedily. Go back to my first Samuel chapter 19 for me. Baby seated. Let's finish this thing. So he said, kill the guy. But I love the verse number two. But Jonathan saw son delighted much in David. I thought it was, you know, they are, they are, look at me, let me educate you a bit. People that were meant to stand together with Saul to ensure that the throne is preserved and kept for the tribe of Benjamin. And in fact, the person of interest whose name was Jonathan, the one that was meant to inherit the throne, the one that was meant to directly take over from his father Saul. The Bible says, but he was the one that was, oh come on, I believe that there was a heavily manipulation. <laughs> Can I pray for somebody here? And I'm trusting God that the same shall happen for somebody under the sound of my voice tonight. When they gather together even to put knife against you, when they gather together to plan mischief and evil against you, I pray that the Lord shall select one of them. And the one among them shall not become your defense. One of your enemies shall be raised and you'll be the one to defend you. You'll be the one to leak the information. You'll be the one to pass on the information. You'll be the one to tell you where they are going to pass so that you know where to move. I declare that among your enemies a helper shall be raised. I'm expecting a big eight man. Those who then said they will kill you. Those who said they will destroy you. One of them, the loss and manipulate their mind. The loss and change his mind. He shall not become the one that will carry information from the camp of the enemy and pass it on to you. Lift up your right hand and say, I believe and I receive it. So shall it be for you. Instruction has been given. Jonathan delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David saying, What in the other? Saw my father seeking to kill him. David did not know. This year, can I speak over somebody's life? They can plot one million times. God will reveal it one million times. Those who shouted the loudest amen, so shall it be for you. Plot things at your workplace. Plot things from your village. Whatever they plan, I declare the Lord shall expose them. I said Jehovah shall expose them. The God of rest house shall expose them. And the Lord shall preserve you and defend you to the fullest. I said, so my father, seek her to kill thee. Now therefore I pray thee, take heed to thyself until the morning and abide in a secret place. Hide thyself. Then come back. See what the guy went further to do. Verse number three. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where thou art and I will commune with my father of thee and what I see that will I tell thee so you got more information stand by my father communicate with him whatever he tells me I'll come and tell you go to the next verse 4 I will ask my father alright you change the version he says I will ask my father to go out there with me and I will talk to him about you. Then I will tell you everything I can find out. So I'll bring you more information. Move on. He says, and I will go out and... Are you okay? The next morning, Jonathan spoke with his father about David, saying many good things about him. Saying many good things about him. The king must not sin against his servant David. Jonathan said, he, is never, he, has, he has never done anything to harm you. He has always helped you in any way he could. Look at me. Hey, Papa, me the bonnet you are At times, it's interesting. There are certain people, the teeth they are using to gossip about you, you fixed it for them. You see, two years ago, see him, I don't know. I don't know. 
On a encore quatre fait, fait, fait. C'est une signe ici. But I'm a senior one on the seven, seven. She said, the senior best you would make a Stephen. Stephen, no. Stephen, you have a kuno. You. The teeth that you fix for them is what they are using to backbite you. David stood as a one man army and fought against Goliath when there was trouble. People are wicked. The heart of man is desperately wicked. That is why what, whatever you are doing, do it as unto God because human beings cannot be trusted. The people that you help the most, they are the people that rise against you the most. Hello? So those of you who at times get heartbroken, forget. The pen you bought for them is what they will use to write against you. There are some people, they are not worth teaching English because the English you teach them, when they finish, they will begin to, 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 to insult you with that same English. Saul and Israel would have been under the control of the Philistines and Jonathan was giving him a reminder. He said, do you know, he always helped us move further. Verse number five, quickly. He says, have you forgotten about the times he risked his life to kill the Philistine giant and how the Lord brought a great victory to all Israel? As a result, you were certainly happy about it then. Somebody say then. Should I continue? Then. Which is kind of man and then. That one, it was okay. Something switched all of a sudden. Let me move on. He says, why should you murder an innocent man like David? There is no reason for it at all. No reason. Move on. I just want to show you other instances. So Saul listened to Jonathan and vowed, as surely as the Lord lived, David will not be killed. You are clapping. It's not over. Let's read further. When an evil person decides to do you evil, anytime they tell you, oh, I have stopped, ladies and gentlemen, they are just on break. In fact, I don't even trust a former witch. Because <laughs> definitely there are some small traces. So it's so sad, but I'm not here. 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 I'm not he says, oh, we have left everything. Afterwards, Jonathan called David and told him what had happened. Then he brought David to Saul. And David served in the court as before. So he said, yeah, dear, we have left it. And, and, and some of us, that is where we get it wrong. When we are dealing with people and, and you know, he said, let's smoke the peace pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime somebody plots evil against you and you find that and the person comes begging and you forgive them, forgive them, but... Don't close your eyes. I believe in forgiving. <laughs> I believe in forgiving. I know I'm saying some very serious things here. Some of us, we believe, oh, forgive and forget. Yes. But I don't know. Is that biblical? Is that what Bible said? The Bible said we should forgive. <laughs> I didn't say it. You said it too. <laughs> he didn't tell you to forget. <laughs> you need to be extra careful. You watch what happened. Afterwards, John, right? this was done. He says the guy served just like he did before. David was still serving. That's a sad thing. Still serving this man, loving him. He says, War broke out again after that. And David led his troop against the Philistines and he attacked them with such fury that they all ran away. David was still fighting on behalf of Saul. He wasn't king yet, remember. Go to the next verse. But one day, one day, 
when Saul was sitting at home with spear in his hands, the tormenting spirit from the Lord suddenly came upon him again as David played the harp. Was Music is good, but be careful where you play it. Go to the next verse. Saul held his spear at David, but David dodged out of the way, leaving the spear stuck in the wall. Hey. The thing stuck on the wall. You know, can you imagine if the thing has had touched any part of his body? The guy will be stuck to the wall. The same guy who few days ago said, Oh, the phone nipa. Oh, I dang. Let's leave everything. Picked up a spear. Nearly, he, he would have ended the kingly vision and dream of David just like that. I pray for you. They will not end your life. I said they will not end your life. I don't care what comes your way. I don't care the intensity of the trouble and the challenges that loom around you. I don't care how many people gather against you. Ladies and gentlemen, somewhere, somehow, the dreams shall be fulfilled. The visions shall come to pass. They will throw the spear, but grace will come upon you. You will swear the spear. I'm preaching some 13 people here right now. You will dodge that sickness. You will dodge that trouble. You will dodge that pain. You will dodge that attack. No weapon Fussing against you shall prosper, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhere, somehow, the defense and the security of God shall be by your side. Let the potent and said, I believe and I receive that word. He fled and escaped into the night. David started thinking, he didn't stay in the palace again. But your boy pull for money for money. Say, stay there. Of you, when when you still you see trouble, say shandara ba kandara ba masa. There are times you must run. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember years ago we went to pray in some school somewhere around. I mean, around your area. Yes, your your where you live, Greece. Where you people live, that Tankasila area, the school on on that side. The, there is a public school there not on your side on this side of the road and we went to pray I mean yeah, bumpire me and some some young guys. Kadima, yapa. That was our first time on that park. We we were we were looking for parks to pray. Baby, baby, who park? Be any a couple of bosom pie. No, no, it's any park. A bosom pie. Any park. Be any a bosom pie. We held our hands. Kaya, kaya, kaya. I am, I am. They said, yapa. I opened my eyes and I saw somebody holding wire. <laughs> so I shut. I said, "Stop!" I told the guys, "This will be a real woman." <laughs> yeah, the wire about here to us. I can't wire and blow. Me, when I was telling them stop, I have started going already. I said, "Yeah, we hear you, but why I'm so hot?" Luckily, by the time I'm meeting up, Papa was too fear. Fortunately for the guy, he moved before the a landena. <laughs> David, he fled. He fled and escaped in the night. Move on. The guy left in the night. Then Saul sent troop to watch David's house. They were told to kill David again. Ladies and gentlemen, a killer is a killer. He was told to kill David again when he came out the next morning. But Michal, another defense. But Michal, David's wife, warned him. He said, If you don't escape tonight, you will be dead in the morning. Some of you don't know who I'm talking about. Michal happens to be Saul's daughter. Given to David as a wife, we're married. 
And then go knife with the daughter. I said, make her him and come in to kill. Move on quickly. He says, so she helped him to climb through a window and he fled and escaped. Master, it's not always that you use the door. <laughs> there are times you use the window. There are times you must run for your dear life. She helped. I'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I believe in blessing. I believe in open doors. I believe in supply. I believe in provision. I believe in all the good things that we are looking for. But ladies and gentlemen, in the midst of our, our desire to have all this supply, one key thing you must never forget is your life must be protected. You must be alive to live in that house. Am I preaching to somebody? You must be alive to drive that car. What is a car without life? I prophesy over your life any attempt of the devil to lay hold on your life any sickness directed towards you any attack against your life tonight we declare let God arise let that thing die out of our lives we shall live to fulfill our days I declare that your days shall be prolonged can you shout a big amen I said your days shall be prolonged you shall live long you shall fulfill your days you shall not die but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Every attempt of the devil cannot prophesy. May you never die before 80. I'm looking for somebody that can key into this blessing. I speak it again. You will not die before 80 years. I don't care what the devil brings against you. You will survive until you pass 80. Lift your voice and shout, I believe and I receive it. in your journey on this earth let there be always some hint oh yeah let there be always some hint many years ago in Cape Coast those of you who don't know I'm telling you this STC used to be a prestigious vehicle prestigious transport to get on STC you must be a dadaba how many of you used to live in those days Hey, STC. Who can through STC? Now I'm through with that. In Cape Coast. Had the opportunity. I don't know whether somebody bought it for me, but somewhere somehow I had STC ticket. I was coming to Accra. I was excited. Go through STC. Sad and man, I'm dying. I saw my make a new. Oh, dream one bit. Man, that's a minute here. I'm dying. I wanted to get on the bus so that I stayed awake until no one said near me. The time I was a bit done, man. Time in is a bit done. I feel I'm a Interesting. I didn't even sleep in my house. I came to sleep in in a Concanser's house. He was in town then. The guy woke me up and I just jumped out of the, 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 the chair started putting myself together running. Me do an STC network me see hey 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 ho of course that 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 STC network I'm not going to be for STC I'm not going to be for STC I'm not going to be for it's gone but do you know the interesting thing I needed to come to a crowd that day so I had to go to Tantri. Those of you know Tantri in Cape Coast. Jump on these regular buses. When we got to Salt Pond, we not STC in it that was Oh yeah. STC now make off run. We could not die sideways. He would deliver you from the noiseless pestilence. I said the Lord will deliver you. When there is trouble, he will delay you so that the trouble will leave you before you arrive. Oh, come on. I felt like I just prophesied to somebody here right now. When there is any attack of the devil, the Lord will intentionally cause a delay. By the time you get there, they will be long gone. Lift up your hands and say, I will live long. Scream it upon yourself. Say, I will live long. Say, I will fulfill my days. Package trouble some way, somehow. 
some way, somehow, God will cause you to come out of them. The, the Bible says, God will disappoint the works of the crafty. The, the last time I decided to, to decipher that scripture, when we say somebody is crafty, it means the person is good at what they do. And yet, in the midst of their skill, in the midst of how smart they are, the Bible says, the Lord will disappoint the works of the crafty. There is a video I just, I just downloaded, I think two days ago, on my phone. Somebody was putting poison in somebody's food. And you know, God can make them so foolish. The lady was looking somewhere and the guy took the poison and put it in the food. Oh, you know, one can't say it. What not the poison it to me or can't say powerful. So he now came to himself to realize that hey, I'm testing the poison. So he, he was he was scared, and then the lady said, Oh, take water, and he gave him the, the one that he put the poison. I said, God will put them into complete confusion. He will disappoint the works of the crafty. I prophesy over somebody. This year, you will break grounds and arrive at that place. They want to stop you from rising. They want to stop you from signing. They want to stop you from breaking out. But I hear the Lord say, I will disappoint them. Somewhere, somehow, you will get there. Lift your voice and shout, that is my word. Listen to this interesting one. I will close very soon. I wish I had time. I would have gone to the end. Alright. Verse 13. Then she took an idol and put it in the bed and covered it with a blanket and put a cushion of goat hair on his head. <laughs> David's bed. Or the koliku. Unim koliku. They are certain, certain songs. They are, they, I mean, they don't make sense, but, but at, at times it, it fits into our, our situation. We say, "Ko ko ko li ko nuhuya misriu, nuhuya misriu." So I'm not going to wait for you. When when they have messed up, you know, we read the names and say, "Ko ko ko li ko nuhuya misriu, nuhuya misriu." The first time I heard that song, I said, "No, this song makes a lot of sense." He put a, 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 an an eye dot that covered it, put goat hair. <laughs> Then, when the troop came, move on to the next verse, verse 14. When the troop came to arrest David, she told them he was sick and could not get out of bed. So they went, move on quickly. But Saul sent the troop back to get David. He ought dead. Bring him to me in his bed so I can kill him. Hey! My grandmother would say, Ma, but why? Then we're home. Why? But when they came to carry David out, <laughs> they uncovered that it was only an idol in the bed <laughs> with a cushion of good hair on his head. This year, I see God prosper you and make things work. <laughs> and, and when you see the devil, you do like him. <laughs> you don't believe it, eh? You see, you're missing that one. Well, by the time they think they, they, they said we are finished with it, I see you holding your drink, crossing your leg in your chair. The people that thought they have finished you, so they are coming to check whether you are there. So they are coming to look at when they come, you play for them. Go, 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 I don't. They should have carried it to Saul. So, but we told Obil, take Koligo. Move to the next verse, seventeen. Oh God, I love your word. Why have you betrayed me like this and let my enemies, es my enemy, escape? Saul demanded of Mika. Mika said, I had to, replied Mika. He threatened to kill me if I didn't help him. That is not true. Check the scripture. It's not true. First, 
God raised a Jonathan. Then again, he raised a Mika. Something will always come to your defense. When I read the story of Joseph, it's interesting. Some of you don't read. In fact, it's, it's, it's one of my, 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 the stories I've been enjoying in this season. How they have made all arrangements. Said this guy, let's finish it. They have taken the coat of many colors, smeared it with blood, and all of a sudden, one of the brothers rose and said, "No, no, no! Don't let's kill this guy. Let's put him in the pit." Listen, the original plan was to finish the guy, to kill him. He said, "Don't let's kill him." When he was coming, check the scripture. He says, "Let us finish this guy and see what will become of his dreams." So the, the whole problem is the fact that you have something that they don't have. So they must kill you. And one of them, among the, among the ten, one said, no, 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 let's put him in a pit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pure foolishness. Then they put him there. Then another person came with another idea. I think that was Simeon. He said, no, you know something? This, this guy, let's sell him. never thinking that this guy we are selling him, something could come up for him to come back again at us. Can you imagine? I mean, Joseph was not dumb. Joseph was not foolish. He was still, I mean, a young man. He, he was of himself and he was selling him, not knowing the outcome that something could happen. He can escape and go and tell our father. But you know something? God can make your enemy so stupid that they, even when they think they are the smartest, they are the most foolish you can ever think of. That will be said of your enemies. Mika replied, He threatened to kill me. Let me finish. Let me get to the next two verses and I'm done. We'll rise up quickly. Move to the next verse. So David escaped, went to Ramah to see Samuel and told him all that Saul has done to him. Then Samuel took David with him to live in Nayot. When the report reached Saul that David was in Nayot in Rama. You want us to move further? The guy is still not happy. But I came to tell you tonight that you need defense. You need defense. Some of us are busily seeking for provision so that we forget protection. Forgetting that when the provision comes with that protection, you cannot enjoy that provision. Rise up on your feet. Tonight I'm trusting God. At times when the Lord blesses you, or you are you are expecting a blessing, there are certain people that must not live around you. They must die. You must finish them if you really want to enjoy. Oh, come on. I know David prayed in other Psalms where he said the Lord shall provide prepare a table before me right in the presence of my enemies <laughs> I, I took my time to do a write up on different categories of enemies there are certain enemies that must be spared oh yeah there are certain enemies they are not harmful they are just troublesome They're coming to kill you. The guy is holding a gun. What clock it to no? Cast the page answer and say, God, forgive my enemies. When you have the means of hitting the gun out of his hands and shooting him back. No, no, no. You don't spare such people. Those are not the enemies that they are certain enemies they must stay around. They are certain. David was so smart. I, in fact, me, I have taken my time to read a lot about this guy called David. There were certain people, David spared them. He didn't kill them. But when he was dying in the book of Kings, he told Solomon, he said, come. See that guy came. See this one to kill him. Finish him. Strategically. And, and there are certain people, David even made peace with them. So we have smoked the peace pipe. He said, Yeah, yeah. And now, for when he finished, and he told his son, Go and kill him. 
David was so strategic that there are certain people, he never killed them himself. He would sell them to somebody else and make the person kill. Don't you see how he dealt with Uriah? He will kill you directly. You are trying to spoil his, his image. Oh no, you can call him on him to say, but there are certain fights you don't fight. On him, pay me to say me. Then he called Joab, come here. Take a letter. This guy, don't shoot him, don't give him. Put him in the hottest part of the battle. The guy has been fighting in the middle. He said, put him in the front. When they put Ura there, he thought he had promoted. He said, today I'll fight. They have made me. Okay, I'm not going to Ajay, 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 you have killed me and I've died. Finish. Case close. When he finished, he comfortably married the wife. And that is one mystery you can't understand. And it was a son of that wife. A son from that same woman that he committed adultery with, killed the husband, settled with, that gave birth to Solomon. The Adonijahs were there. The Absaloms were the legitimate wives. Then God said, give it to Solomon. This God. Eh? No, if you, by the time you get to heaven one day, the guy you see there, it will shock you. <laughs> say, hey, you come here. <laughs> Say, I day here long time. So, in heaven, eh, it would be like humble and say, Wow, 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 wow. Hey, this guy say, Wow, wow. Say, Hey, no, we see, wow, wow. We see. No, I know. What's the matter? Yes, yes, the night I was working on my book, a book I choose to call God's Demand and Supply Class. His ways are not our ways. That is why at times when you are condemning people, be very careful. Oh, come on, that guy that is messing up, you think God doesn't know? That is why I tell people, don't fire people that God has hired. Also, open and go upon say, he being a good use. Say this guy, dear. I remember the day I was calling out pastors here. I told you that among all the guys I'm calling, the three guys I called here, the one I don't like, I don't trust him, is David. But when I was praying, God said that one. You think I was using my mind? No, no, no. That is what I was led by God. As far as I'm concerned. I was teaching somebody here. I mean, quite recently, just a few days ago, it was on Tuesday. I don't know, but some ways, in fact, I, 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 I wish I recorded myself. I was telling him that the things of God, operating church, operating the things of God, if you really want to go far, it is purely autocratic and theocratic. It is not democracy. Church is not democracy. It is God's church. So, you know, they, they, don't be worried, especially if you're a leader, when a pastor or the leader comes and says, from today, we are meeting on Wednesdays. You say, hey, but you know we have to sit down and think and the church board must meet. And then, it's not church board, it is theocratic. What God said. And, and you know, as a leader, you must be autocratic under a theocratic. I don't know how to put it. You, you, you must have a theocratic relationship with God. So he tells you and when you come, you tell them. And it is not, you be voting, you be voting, you voting. You don't vote here. The disciples tried voting. They casted a lot. And they brought Matthias. One eighteen in Matthias. To replace Judas. What did he do? Then Jesus himself said, When I was calling you people by my theocratic power, God dictation. Where were you? Then he said, let me go and look for another one. Then the guy was moving to Damascus. Then he met him. His name is Saul. He said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted that me? And he said, who are you, Lord? The guy was a murderer. The guy was a criminal. 
the guy was off the hook and God said, I've chosen this one. By the time, you, you check the scripture, when Saul was coming back to join the disciples, anybody who says, on the way by, the guy was an enemy of the church and now he's the main guy. Everybody was running away from him. It took Barnabas to stand and tell the disciples, Chalipadia Chaki, so yes, sure. A real way of the of at times you don't understand why God has chosen the womanizer. So how can we amass him? Amass him. You can't understand. I don't know. There are times God must call you to change you. Oh yeah. He does. You don't change for Him to call you. Let's pray. Two things we are praying for. Some of you, if you don't take care, you will pray provision, provision, and miss the protection. We want to come. The last time I read the scripture on stray bullet, the Bible says, and somebody shot an arrow into the air. And the arrow went and hit a king. He shot it into the air, no direction. And dead the king's life. Tonight we are lifting up prayer. We are dealing with anybody that has us on the agenda. And if you care to know, let me add this one. Anybody that will have us those who are plotted evil against us, against our children, against them that are connected to us, against our family, and those who plot, say in the name of Jesus. Can I get some of people pick up the microphone? Say in the name of Jesus. Say I declare, as a child of God, say tonight, I engage the blood. Speak, he said tonight, I engage the blood. As I lift my voice and clap my hands, I declare every protein, every word. Every, working, every, working, every activity, activity of the enemy, of the enemy against, my against my life. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord every Lord. evil every eye, eye looking my direction, wanting to cut me so, wanting to transcend my life. As I clap my hands, I declare, let them fall, die by fire. Say, fall and die by fire. Say, fall and die by fire. Say, fall, say, fall. Say fall and die by fire. Say, oh Lord, as I clap my hands, clap them right now. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Rasa kapa di bika, ya kata pa kapa di bika, rasa kapa di bika pa ya bata, ya bika pa ya bika pa, 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 ya Somebody clap your hands. Somebody 
Sing it again, my one and you are who? Oh, Jesus. Can I hear you like you are lifting a prayer to heaven? What's it tree? My one and you are who? Can you see me? What Let the Lord work and work here. Yeah, me home sent to me. Let the enemy see it. Alina no hosa. Ma one anywhere who the people in my area. Say we're at it. Wow. May they see your marriage. May they see your house. May they see your car. May they see the doings of the Lord. May they see your Christian. Ma one anywhere who lift your voice and sing it like you are praying. Say we're at it. Jesus. Jesus. It is working for somebody already. I see the hand of the Lord already working. Somebody who has are just standing there, God is just visiting me. But one anywhere who sing it like you are talking to God. Jesus, uh, oh Jesus. Wow. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Teach me. My one anywhere who. My one anywhere who. Sawerati. Tears are coming out of your eyes, and the Lord said, I should tell you, He's answering you. Jesus, just breathe your name upon me. Lift your two hands wherever you are. Yes, breathe your name upon me, breathe. Yeah. 
Your tail is your name, breathe, Lord. Oh, just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name, sir. Just breathe your name. Somebody upon is carrying a miracle. Me. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Your name. Your name, your name, your name, your name, your name, your your voice, scream and say, yes, breathe your name upon me. It's a demand you are making on heaven, say, yes, breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name, your name, your name. Your name upon me. Your hair, hair is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. Close your eyes, everybody. If you are ushering, then it means you must be in the midst of the people and not at the back. Position yourself right quickly. And close your eyes. Let's have a solemn atmosphere. There, there is somebody here. Some ways, some of us were praying, tears were coming out of you. Come to me quickly. Come, come. Come. There is a reason. Come. God sent me with a word for you. Some ways, some of us were praying, you were crying. God said, I should tell you, you. See, stand behind her for me. And now, someone you made this woman is a man can't show you. Give me oil in my hands. It's a very compounded thing you have been dealing with. Come closer. I saw something like a bowl. It is very rounded. In fact, looking at the color and what I'm seeing, I can say I, it's, it's like a calabash, but it's big. And it has covered, it is a covering on something. And I saw a man, watch this. I saw a man, who said, I saw a man, who said, and the person was holding the thing and I saw it was like there was a vibration under that calabash because I'm hearing some rattling sounds and yet he was holding and I saw an angel of the Lord scream and shouted at that person and said oh fair stop I heard it clearly. And suddenly I saw the person who was like, the person was shaking. It was not the calabash that was shaking again. The person was shaking. And suddenly I saw that the thing was lifted off. And what I saw was glorious. And what I saw was glorious. The Lord said, I should tell you that that man has held certain things against you and held you in ransom for a long time. But tonight, it is lifted tonight it is lifted tonight it is lifted tonight it is lifted tonight the church that you are looking for has been recorded because that thing is lifted He's fighting for you, Jesus. Oh, Queen. Me say, and I want to me. Can you make it a prayer? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Queen. Jesus, oh, Queen. You will feel a relief. 
You will feel it. You have been controlled for years. Break loose. Set loose. Set loose. Set free. Set loose. Jesus our queen. And I want it to be Wherever you are, lift up your hands. Burdens are getting lifted. Some of you, they are frustrated for years. But the hand of the Lord is activated. The same hand that is bringing deliverance to her is coming to you right now. Some of you, what did I want to be a few to break that hold? Break that yoke. Break that limitation. In the name of Jesus, bring me that water. Makoni Mahatabaka, lift up your hands. Jesus, our Queen. And bring me that book. Yen Yan Zen to me go. I am holding. Fast, fast, fast. Lift your hands. Deliverance getting recorded here right now. I am holding to me go. Just pour a little bit of it for me. Yen Yan Zen to me go. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes wherever you are. Deliverance recorded here right now. Deliverance recorded here. Pay down Sakos to baby Aubia. Pay down Sakos to baby Aubia. Receive deliverance wherever you are. An anointing that sets men free is coming upon you right now. Yokes are getting broken. Lift up your hands. I see the people coming out of their limitations. In the name of Jesus, yokes are getting broken. In the name of Jesus, I see something coming out of somebody's body. Psst. Say, lose me tonight. Scream me. Say, lose me tonight. Sorry. Say, lose me tonight. Close your eyes. Jesus, kata weni bebi ya ubi ya. You say bebi ya free ususa. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Set loose and set free. Jesus, tima kopa hati basa ya. Dezeke tebe debe daba daba hada baka ya. Eya ya, eya ya, eya. Break, 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 hold. Completely freed. Set loose. In the name of Jesus, start something afresh. Set loose completely. In the name of Jesus. Before we check out of here, thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, finish what you have started. Lift up your hands, let's pray this final prayer. And every one of the escapes of David, God raised a man. Close your eyes, lift up your hands. May God raise help us. Amen. Even out of your enemies. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Escape routes be created for you. Amen. Wherever you find yourself. Amen. He will disappoint the works of the craft. Yes, Amen. Lord. Never would they perform any one of their enterprises. Amen. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You are the living God. Just keep it up and steady. Is sin? No one like you. You are my healer. You 
you are my keeper, my and my life keeper. You are, you are the, living the living God. God. If you are sick, put your hands there. Yes, Today, I will not ask you to come to the front. You are the living God. See how you set me free. Freedom is getting recorded. See how you deliver me. For you are the living God. God delivered David for him not from sickness but from death. Tonight just where you are standing we send the delivering hand of God and he wrote in Psalm 59 he says the Lord is my defense. I don't care what the sickness looks like. I don't care how bad the condition might be. Let the healing power of God be sent to you right now. I don't care the situation and the condition in which you find yourself. Oh, come on, I see something drying out in somebody's body right now. I'm not confessing faith, I'm seeing it. Something is getting destroyed which could have messed you up but the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Receive it just wherever you are. Receive it. Through the power of his blood. You will feel it. You have a sensation in your body. He's crushing that sickness. He's breaking that thing out of your life completely. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Be exalted. Be lifted up. You can begin to thank God if you don't mind. Lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I decided I'll be doing this particular thing for some time now. Let me get it done. Just thank God whilst I'm getting it ready. Holy Spirit. Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. Can I get somebody who can read well? Pick a, micro, a microphone. I want to encourage you with a testimony. What God is doing. This is a message somebody sent to me. I've saved people's names on my phone. So I send it from my other phone. I, I screenshot it and send it to this one. I want you to read it from here. He says, man of God, your prayers are too powerful. Continue. I was last feeling pains in my breast, but don't have lump in the breast, just pains. You pray over breast cancer. Joined you in the prayers holding my two breasts, and through that, I had an instant healing. The, the pains just stopped immediately since that day. I don't feel the pain anymore. Your prayers with my faith are too powerful. Be blessed. This is a very elderly woman. It says, don't leave me, man of God, in spirit. I'm with you. Your words are powerful. I'm staying with my daughters at Dodoa for some time. I am also an older woman, over 60 years, and a widow. So I am, he says, so if, if I am young, if that is, uh, I mean, that is how she wrote it, but she meant if I was a young lady, I would visit your church. I would have visited your church a long time. If I come to my house at Dansuman, I'll make it to your church. I am a Presbyterian, but we'll visit. Please don't stop sending me your morning due. Many, many blessings to you. 
there is one particular testimony that I would have I was looking for I pray a woman that has been communicating God is doing awesome things amen and I want you to take advantage and key into it amen one of the things I want us to be I mean doing during the Thursday meetings is also to be taking testimonies if God does something for you you talk about it amen encourage others and I believe that it, it is it is it is some of the things I decided to put them together even even today just this morning I decided to screenshot a couple of them so that people will be encouraged by what God is doing touch somebody and say you are the next to testify amen and amen one particular leader sent me a message he's always online look for a job for eight years eight solid years he said after we called on God God has blessed me with a job amen this is what God can do and I am waiting we, we must we must have testimonies rolling in lift your right hand and say by next week I will testify as you said with faith so shall it be in your life May God put some heavy money in your hands that will cause you to run to this altar with a testimony. Let some closed door open for you. Just flip open just like that. I pray that somebody will receive a job before you come to this place next week. I'm praying for a job that you never expected. Something that is beyond you. Something that is mind-blowing. Something that just came out of the blue. By the hand of God. Somebody said, I believe and I receive it so shall it be for you in Jesus name don't miss night of prophecy this coming Sunday it's in the evening 5 p.m. sharp we are right here amen come with friends come with family let's have a great time in the presence of God pick up your offering let's give to God pick up your offering quickly pick up an offering father we thank you for this opportunity to give receive of our seed bless us on every side generate awesome testimonies in our life we call it that in Jesus' name, amen. Can you come drop your offering quickly? Run to the altar, drop your offering. God bless you. God bless you. Let's receive Pastor Nee to round up the service. Even though he came late with permission though, but he was still late. Let's receive the late Pastor Clement. <laughs> I don't mean the one that is late. I mean the one that is late for, for lateness. Amen. Rise up on your feet as he prays and bring service to a close. Hallelujah. What do you have to say is the man of God? Hallelujah coming Sunday. This weekend is going to be a very packed weekend but I believe that you have to make sure that you be a part of Night of Prophecy, Signs and Wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. This is empire. So make sure that you tell a friend to tell another friend. Invite people. Let's pack this place. Let's mount screens at the back and let this place get filled. Amen. Amen. If you want to do that, just wave on to me. I see. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We also have a wedding this coming Saturday. Where did you emphasize? So it means that they've given the direction already. You that wanted to, there will not be any car here. So nobody should call that car nowhere. There will not be any car. If you want to.